Hello everyone, today in this video we will be looking at pie charts. Steps to draw a pie chart. Add the frequencies together. Next divide 360 by the total frequency, so 360 divided by total frequency. Then multiply that number by each individual frequency to get the angle of each sector. Draw the pie chart. Use the line given in the circle as the baseline. Measure the first angle and draw the line from the center to where the angle dot is. Then use that line as the new baseline and to continue to draw in the other sectors until the pie chart is complete. So we're going to look at the first half of this exam question. The table shows some information about the colour of sweets in a jar. So here's the table. Then what fraction of the sweets are yellow? First, you add the frequencies together. So 24 plus 16 plus 15 plus 5 is equal to 60. Next, write the number of yellow sweets as a fraction of the total number of sweets. So that would be 16 over 60 or simplified is 4 over 15. Now we're going to look at the second half of this exam question. Draw an accurate pie chart to show the information in the table. So here's the table. So 360 divided by the total frequency, which is 60, is 6 degrees for every suite. So then you you can draw the extra two columns next to the table that they give you in the question. One of them is a calculation column, so 24 times by 6, 16 times by 6, 15 times by 6, and 5 times by 6, and another column next to that to show the angle. So the angle for red is 144 degrees, the angle for yellow is 96 degrees, the angle for pink is 90 degrees, and the angle for green is 30 degrees. So the question again is to draw an accurate pie chart to show the information in the table. So they'll give you a line, which is the starting line. So here's the starting line. Then from there, the pie chart has been drawn. So on the side, you have a key. It's very important that with pie charts, you have a key. And for your exams, they will be scanned in black and white. So you're not allowed to use any color. So what you can do is if the pie chart is big enough, you can write what each sector stands for, or you can write the first letter and then have a key on the side that will have like R dash red, Y dash yellow, P dash pink and G dash green. Obviously, so from here, from the table, you can see the angles. So obviously, red is the biggest with 144 degrees. Yellow is just slightly more than a quarter, which is 96 degrees. Pink is a quarter, and green takes the little space that is left of 30 degrees. Tonight. There will be some questions where they'll give you a complete pie chart and ask you to give a sector's fraction and then from there they'll give you information from that and sometimes you have to measure the angle as well or you have to give the amount that a sector is worth and then the question will ask for the total frequency for a pie chart as well. I hope you found this video useful, please click on the subscribe and bell buttons for more content from this channel and please feel free to share. Thank you for watching.